Hello everyone and welcome back to our blind let's play of Eternal Darkness Santa's Requiem, the final run. The third run, the red run. Now before we get into the game, and I'm gonna go ahead and do what I did last time, which is basically skip to when August chooses red artifact, because nothing else will change before that. There is a new option in the menu called jump to game. And this is really interesting because we can actually go to different parts of the game without actually having done them and so if you really want to play michael's level over and over and over again you can uh it's very interesting especially since you know you you get to see some really cool uh thumbnails here of these 12 scenes but i'm not going to use this i'm just going to start a new game to jump into pious and once again, we're going to load, and it says that we have completed with the following alignments. Yuldioth, blue, Zelototh, green. Would you like to carry this information over to your game? Yes, we would, and I will see you as soon as we are faced with the artifact decision. And just like that, Pius descends into the chamber where the blue one is missing, green one is missing. That leaves us one left. Strange sculpture resembling a red clawed worm mysteriously floats above the pedestal. Should Pius claim this artifact? Here we go. One more time down the rabbit hole, Alice descends. Eons have passed since then, and I have learned much. Chaturga's power filled me, invigorating my dead body. With a touch, I could level buildings, rend the ground asunder, and channel power such as mortal men could only dream. Face me, and you shall surely perish. Is it just me or does uh, Chaturga seem more menacing? Because it's red, you know? I don't know what it is, but the, the redness of it makes it seem more scary, in my opinion. I cannot say what was the true beginning, nor am I sure of its end. So perhaps here is the best place to start. I am reminded of ideas I first encountered in Sir James George Fraser's book, the Golden Bough, a study in magic and religion. We are overwhelmed by a very human need to weave a web of meaning where there may be none. Since time immemorial, ancient peoples have dressed up their lack of knowledge as gods and demons. I have discovered that sometimes the fates of gods and mortals intertwine and legends are born. Angathar region, Cambodia, 150 AD. I think the reason I think of red is because of because of Sith. Thy time is done, great ancient. You know, it's Star Wars. Forever in shadow will you be with master the red of lightsabers. Hope. And to fade to nothing in obscurity will be thy fate. My master has planned many millennia for this day. It is the true chaos of all things that you now must be entombed amongst the, the beings, beings of flesh and bone. You have a great monument here, Mantarok. It is a pity that no one will ever recognize it as yours. May the darkness claim thee, crawling chaos and damned beast. No longer will thy reign be kept over the ancients you have kept imprisoned. Thou hast seen the last. Even these 
mythical fables can keep me amused. There has to be something to do around here. I only wish something that fantastic and a higher purpose could happen to me. You know, they say, be careful what you wish for. So how's everyone doing today as we start our third one here? I think I'm going to play the third one a little bit differently. And what I am going to try to do is maybe, maybe play a little bit differently this time and that try to avoid unnecessary encounters. I don't want to speed run through the game because I am no speed runner by any means. But uh, I just want to, you know, add a little bit more interesting flavor to the game if I can. See if we can get by things without having to kill things. Although, there's always times when we're going to have to kill things. Like this guy here. I mean, this is part of the story. But there's a lot of times in the game that I stopped to, uh, to, you know, like, just fight enemies. So I want to see, you know, how well I can go through the game, uh, this time. Either way, like, it's like, I want to approach, I want to approach, uh, you know, each playthrough a little bit differently. Uh, because... You know, that's part of playing a game multiple times. You know, it's played differently. That's what I learned in the uh, the House of Ashes playthrough. It's like I played Man of Madon and ah, that was dumb. I played Man of Madon and uh, Little Hope, and even though I did it differently each time, I didn't really do it as differently as what I did in House of Ashes. And so, like right there, you know, I could have stopped there and killed those guys. Instead. You know, try running past them. You know, know that... Try to conserve... You know, basically, like, we are playing Silent Hill. The idea is, you know, in Silent Hill, you can't just kill everything. There's times when you have to pick your fights. Almost like that. Try to get better used to dodging enemies and running around enemies. But there's always going to be times when, you know, we just have to slice our way through, too. Don't explode, please. Um, let's see. This one is just this. I really love the puzzle of this game. None of them are overly complicated, but they're not bad. They're, they're, you know, interesting. Am I going the right way, by the way? Yes, I am. Should probably heal. And by playing like this, too, another thing that does is it makes it so that... Sandy may be a bigger issue now. Because one of the great things about killing enemies... Is your sandy really really matters? A secret passage in the temple. When you think about finishing moves, but if you're not finishing off the enemies, you're not recovering sandy. So you know there's that. Ow, that one hurt. Ran right into that. I really hate the blowgun, by the way. Blowgun is an infuriating weapon. But yeah, you see, we're already... We're already feeling the effects of... Not killing things. Because you can see our... You can see our Sandy... Starting to already suffer. 
I think that would be kind of interesting. The idea that, you know, our sanity is going to be working against us this game. to feeding on flesh and bone, Atrolok. How the mighty have fallen. You will surely fester for millennia to come. A slow and torturous fate for thee. You had best leave, young fool, or you will find yourself as food for the dead god. of the corpse god the sun that is a source of great power from those people you must defend it lest they use it to destroy with little brightness your world has left in it guard it well Let's get this, which is the, uh, the thing we need for the lever. Now we need to go back. And uh, try not to use up all our stamina. Oh my god, that is a lot of enemies. Uh, it's not in this room, is it? Man, they're just eating each other. That is so creepy. Ah, that was not smart. Oh, that guy didn't get smushed, that's a shame. See, right here, this is what I'm talking about. Right here. A lot more difficult when uh, you can't just kill everything. Although that guy looks like he died from the traps. <laughs> this body's just laying there. Jeez, look at this. It's like a giant war going on. I'm gonna start taking HP damage now because of my low sanity. Whereas if I was killing everything as I go, my sanity would have never dropped this low. So I think this could be interesting. I, I am going to kill some things during the game, of course, but. Oh my lord! Um. 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 I don't know how I'm still alive. Oh, it takes one more sandy burst and I'm dead. Oh my goodness. No, 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 I can't leave. I can't leave. What the heck is going on? All right, well, yeah, that was the thing that happened. Wow, that was cool. He exploded and destroyed everything in the background. Well, uh, yeah, um, <laughs> I thought I, 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 I thought I had died for sure. Yep, without a doubt, I thought I was dead. This game knows how to get inside your head. That is definitely for sure. You 
should have run. Instead, you will die. Where is the essence of Mantarok? Where is it? I will not ask again, child. Very well, then. You will succumb to the horrors of oblivion. I wonder, did I miss a bunch of runes? Because my, uh, my sword broke. But I never had a chance to fix the sword. I played this game a few times already and I still don't remember where everything in the game is. Like, I have no spells. Uh, let's see. Uh, no. I still find it weird that's my that my controller has um, Y and X like backwards. I haven't saved yet this game. I probably should. Let's go ahead and see the triple runes come across the screen. Indeed. Uh, blue, green, and now red. Let's dive into the next chapter right away. Uh, open up this suspicious conspiracy. And let's hear from the great lobster ancient himself. Terga. Your presence is long missed, my liege. I feel that my power is weakening from your absence. Yes, the power flows from me. Without me, you are nothing. My meditations reveal a flaw in our plan. There is no flaw. Mamadok and the others move too slowly to counter our preparations. Once Mamadok is bound, its death will be prolonged for a thousand years. Its fate will assure that the balance of power over the opposing ancients will remain in our favor. And with the Keeper nullified, my power grows stronger still. And what of its essence? Mandarok has employed others to defend it. It is of no matter, for the power I will weave upon my return will crush all that opposed me. Enough of this. What of this Charlemagne the Frank? Is he still a concern? His undoing has been planned in intricate detail. Those most loyal to him will be instrumental in his death. Nothing short of a miracle will keep him alive. And there hasn't been one of those for a long time. After chapter page is removed, Mr. Joe longer so is discarded. All right, let's go. Turga sounds From exactly like research, you think he would sound. It is apparent that the endeavors of mankind are mere puppetry at the hands of the ancients. Whenever a king vows reform, the ancients move quickly to stifle it. Under the auspices of Emperor Charlemagne the Frank, the new Holy Roman Empire was at the height of its power. Amiens, France, 814 AD. Hunc mit ad dominum et imperatorum nostrum, Carolum magnum francum. Deliver this to our lord and emperor, Charlemagne the Frank. No one but him must see it. They are words for his eyes only, at once. I just saw that was a uh, what a seven pointed rune spell. spell. I am bewitched. If this was meant for Charlemagne, then what will become of him? 
I have to warn him of this treachery. I believe the first thing we have to do is open up the casket, right? Oh my god, what is it? This is devil's work. We should get out of here. You have proven what we have feared the most. This poor man has been the victim of great evil. Look how his body has been defiled. As if something has burst out from inside him. Here. Take this for your protection, and find the bishop. He must be informed of this horrible discovery. And we got our sword, Scar Scramax? Scramax? I always like to say Sacramax, I don't know why, there's no A there. But for some reason, I just read it as Sacramax. And that doesn't make sense, because Sacramax means there's no S there either. I can't say this word, I don't know why. Uh, this is locked, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is. So I gotta head upstairs. And we got the book. I love his expression when he enters the room. He's like, what the heck? Yeah, I'm totally with you, buddy. I'd be thinking the same thing with faces screaming at me from the floor. You know what's really interesting though, and this is something that we talked about in the uh, the comment section, um, but this is Ami in France before Elia. But yet in that area, Elia was represented. And we saw Elia's image from the Tome of Eternal Darkness. This game isn't told in chronological order. So there's something at play here that we haven't learned yet, where... The book is almost like out of time. In a sense, it's like, how does that work? And we, I just don't know yet. Maybe they'll tell us before the game is done. But we'll have to see. All right, let's get the Voss. Let's break the Voss. Or the urn. Get the rune of Zelatoth. Yes, yes, yes. I know all about Zelatoth runes. Um, so we need to repair that. So it's weird because you get the uh, the book and sword from Elia, but there's no way to repair the book and sword yet. So it's like, why do they have you pick up the book and sword if you can't repair it? Oh, it's not this one. It's the middle one, isn't it? Yeah, it's the middle one. And then down the steps we go. Alright, so this guy we definitely have to kill. Man, without that enchantment, weapon just doesn't do anything. I love the flick. Flick is so cool. One of my favorite fishing moves. I love how the game teaches you these things through, you know, that. Oh, I forgot, I need to get the parts. Ah, oh, this, this is gonna be hard. <laughs> this is gonna be nuts. I earn, I earn. So I know about mixing things. I don't wanna mix anything until I have them all. Three thirds. Three thirds. And then, adios. Uh, Vita Ventimo? Is that how you say it in Latin? I don't know. Uh, or Italian? I don't know Italian. Who am I kidding? 
Oh wow, I killed him one hit. That was awesome. Feels sad that you, you can actually kill this guy later, you know? It's unfortunate. There's Zelotal subscription. There's the other urn. Uh, new spell. Spell list, cast. Green urn. Hey, this red guy here is actually gonna help me out. It's kind of funny. <laughs> Uh, assigned to right thing. Then we're going to cast it again on the blue. Yeah, look at that. That actually helped me out here. Sweet. Thanks a lot, big guy. Appreciate your help. Yeah, that guy is amazing, man. Oh, this ain't good. This ain't good. I can't get by him. Ah, there we go. Like I said, kind of challenging to play in a new way. And dealing with Sandy Loss is going to be really hard early on because we don't have any type of recovery spell. Um, we don't have our magic pool spell. It's, it's just gonna be a mess for a while. Yes, 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 I know this. Yes, I know, I know, I do. We already know the spell, yes. We already know the spell. Yes, 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 thank you. <laughs> All right, here we have to put down our urns. Put down the other one, and the last one. And let's cast on our sword. And we will drop a save. Because I do not have confidence in my abilities, my friend. Sorry, I, I just don't. I don't think we fight a boss until after, but I'm not sure, do we fight this guy here? Yeah, we do. So, you have come to return my book. Very well then. For your efforts, I promise a quick and merciful death. Now the question is, how do we kill this guy without killing all the other guys that resurrect? Because... Ow. I think I can get three hits in for every one of his. There we go. Now let's get that out. Woo! Yeah, we're not looking so good. Both sanity wise and health wise. Oh my goodness. Um. Okay, I can't. Yeah, I, I can't. Unfortunately, I can't get through these guys without killing them. So, if I had to kill them, I'm gonna kill them. There was no way I could move, maneuver around those guys. Ah, oh, great, Trapper. I don't think there's any way to avoid this guy. I wonder, can you? I think the game is like programmed to make it so you have to go in the Trapper Dungeon. Oh no, look at this! You can actually avoid it! Hey, how about that? Trappers have no eyes. Uh, the stick around won't be any trouble. Yeah, it's gonna be tough though. What I should do is I should take a trap. Oh, what the heck? Um, I'm on the ceiling. I am on the ceiling of this room. Uh, 
Yeah. I think that's a new one. Oh, look at my light bar just plummet. Yeah, you guys continue to hit each other. Oh, the priest is still there. He's still alive somehow. I don't know how the priest survived that long, but he's still there. Question is, am I, am I going to be able to make it past the big guy? Because those guys are never easy to kill. Yeah, these guys are never easy to kill. Oh, and it's red. Oh, man, look at those mouths. Oh, that is hideous. That is very different from the other ones. Look at that thing. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. Oh, what's this? What the heck? I got revived? I got revived? How did that happen? What the? Um, um, what, what, what is going on in this game right now? What is happening? I have no idea, but I think we won. Yeah, I have, I, 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 I have, I have no idea, but I think we won. How did I get all my life back though? Did you see that? That's never happened before. Uh, key. It's gonna be some weird stuff happening in this game. trying to save him, Anthony. His fate was decided many centuries ago, as is the fate of this world. Despite your faith, there is little to save you from the power of Chaturna. Oh! Yeah, it seems like Chaturga's enemies are a lot more bestial and scary, in my opinion. Goodness gracious. Great balls of fire. No, um. Alright, uh, what do we do? Uh, yes, I know what we do. We gotta go upstairs. Stop banging on the doors. I hate it when that happens. That like, creeps me out more than someone banging on the doors. I don't know why. It just feels eerie as can be. What does your sanity look like? You know. Slightly going insane. So here, I wonder if you can use this like pre. No, you can't use a pre. You gotta first break the key, and then you gotta use it on the key. And you gotta use it again. All right. that bullets all right all right i know this is the part you guys love there i go god it's still creepy i'm sorry no matter how many times you see that it's still creepy when you're seeing yourself dead in a pool of blood in a bathtub is just 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 crazy is the chapter page up here yes I actually remember that time dreams modern psychology offers only unproven theories some see them as the meaningless tossing and turning of a brain settling into a restful sleep 
Others see them as laden with symbols of our unconscious desires. To still others, dreams represent the upwelling of the archetypes, normally hidden deep within the recesses of the human collective unconscious. Of one thing I am certain. After a brush with the ancients, our dreams metamorphosize into nightmares. Persia, but now we're in 565 AD. See, we're going back in time, and yet we, the book remembers the things that happened ahead of time. So something is definitely going on. I have implored you for years. Yet you ignore all my advances. You dominate my dreams. And I can think of nothing else. I fear I desire you many hundred times more than you love me. My life has become a waking dream, Karim. For weeks, I have dreamed of an ancient treasure so precious that it changes all life around it. It must be mine, Kareem. If you truly desire me, as you say, then you will find this for me. Bring this treasure to me, and I will be yours. Both of our dreams will come true. I need nothing more than you. You have enthralled me to the point where I can think of nothing else. Promise, if I leave, you will not forget about me. You need not worry. I desire nothing more than the treasure that you seek. Leave now, Kareem, and I shall await you. Here we are with Kareem, and once again, it was the uh, the yellow god that did that. And I really like that idea that we talked about, where the fifth ancient is probably the ancient of life, because if Montauk is the god of death, and he's purple, it makes sense that the god of life would be yellow. My question is, why does the god of life want all this to happen? And I should say God of Life. I should say Ancient of Life. Because obviously he's not... He's not a god. Although I'm pretty sure they... You know, would like to consider themselves to be gods, right? Running around... Yeah, I can't go here yet. I need a couple things. Um. Oh, I need that rune is what I need. Uh, this is not, this is not good. I'm kind of trapped in a corner with a bunch of enemies trying to kill me. Oh, oh, I made it. Oh! Woo! And I haven't saved him while I probably should. Uh, especially with how risky I'm playing this uh, playthrough. Got the torch. Should probably equip the torch. Before our sand, he goes to the uh, pits. Alright. Uh, drop the statue. Drop the statue. Stand on the last one. And a bunch of trappers. Can go by these guys, though.
Yeah, easy. Although, once again, it would be a lot smarter if I used the trappers to regain my sanity, but you know. In the words of Darkwing Duck, let's get dangerous. That's our Tuwa. And I'd say, nope, 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 nope. We're not messing with these guys. Get the spell scroll. And use, actually, before we, uh, we need the big sword first, don't we? Oh, this ain't good. Yeah, yeah, this ain't good. Uh, I'm gonna die. Um, uh, da, 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 enchant. Is that recovery? Yes, it is. I'm gonna have to cast that soon. Uh, recover. Uh, let's go. Oh, I hate this guy so much. The problem is his electricity is like impossible to avoid. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die dude his lightning. Yeah, I died to his lightning. Saw that one coming. Definitely saw that one coming. Uh, I hate these guys so much. And when you don't have the right element to use, that's a problem. You know, I wonder what happened if I used my uh, chakrams instead. Um, basically, it's my chakrams to hit him from a distance. And therefore, you know, you, you don't have to worry about that gap as much. Uh, and when I mean gap, I mean the electricity, the electricity hitting you as much. Whew. I know this would be a more difficult run because of what I'm trying to do, but I will say it's kind of fun. I'm all the way back here. Are you kidding me? Well, that's, it's actually not too far back. It's only a couple of rooms. So the thing is, I can't really see um, every single room because I'm not killing all the enemies and you can't save if you don't kill You know the enemies in the room and because of that it makes the game a little bit harder right, Let's uh Let's go ahead and get back to where we were I didn't realize there's four of those because on the map you see um, Three because they walk in the corners, but there's actually a fourth one This game is so much harder when you don't have a shield spell, when you don't have all the right enchantments. It's just, like I said, it's that much harder. Let's get our double tour. And then let's get the heck out of here. Let's go ahead and chain our chakra. See, what I would do is normally I'd probably, you know, kill off the, these guys in this room. And then after these guys are dead, um, attack the, uh, the big guy. I'm gonna try to use range to my advantage. I hate that lightning. Uh, what the heck? Game! It's not helping any! I'm fighting an enemy that's gonna tear me apart and you just keep doing that! Come on, come on, come on, please die. I need you to die like right now. Yes! Woo! Alright. That was intense. 
super intense. Alright, um... We have a way to heal. That... That better be a sandy effect. Alright. Jeez. Oh, oh. I was about to say... After doing all of that, the game just decides to kill me. That would have been very disappointing. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and save. And carry on. Uh, I forgot about the trappers. I'm gonna get hit by it. Oh, I? oh, was that close? Oh, was that close to getting away? Ah, oh. so close. I'm just gonna run for it. Whatever I get is whatever I get. Ah, oh, so close to winning the trap. I I totally did not see him there. I wonder if he comes out through the uh the barrier. Hello, Augustus. My dear Alex, I will always be at your side. There are times when insanity takes hold. Nothing seems right. During those times, I will help you. Fear not, for I will keep the darkness away. It's almost like he's trying to indoctrinate her or something to like join his forces. Oh, this, this, yeah, you two beat up on each other. Come on, come this way. Come this way. Come this way. Come this way. Thank you. Yeah, there's a recovery spell. And there's the big blade. Ram down. I'm in a lot of trouble, aren't I? Because I actually have to kill enemies now. And the problem is, I have no Sandy. Yep. I can't enchant my sword because as soon as these guys do their sandy effect, I take HP damage. I am stuck. Oh wow, that cleave works really well. I mean, it doesn't kill them, but it knocks them back at least. Yeah. That cleave attack is actually really efficient. Alright. All prepared for round two. So like I say, it's not really powerful. But it knocks him back, which allows you time to like do stuff. I really wish I had magic attack. If I had magic attack, this would be a lot of fun. You could just go magic attack and just blow them all up at once. Hitting six enemies at a time would be great. I didn't mean to do a sanity recover. What I try to do is do a uh, health recover, but I forgot we don't know the uh, Turga rune yet. Did my health just like not recover because of that? Let's take these guys out. Take this guy out, maybe. If he ever die, he's not dying. He's not dying. There he goes. Alright, round three. Bring him on.
That's the guy I want. Wow, he's tall. Wow, one slice killed him? That's pretty amazing. Well, of course, plus our finishing move. Oh, not these guys! No, there's two of them! Oh, no! Oh, no, this is not good! This is not good! Not good at all! I can't hit him! I can't hit him! I, I can't hit him! W why could I hit him? Well, that was unfortunate. I don't know what happened there. Like I said, the red enemies seem to be a lot more powerful than the other enemies we've dealt with. Maybe it's because we're on game number three, the, the difficulty spiked, but I don't know what happened there. We we got annihilated. Um, unlike the last time we game over, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put a cut here and I'll see you on the flip side. All right, we are back with the... Um, with this... Uh, with this... Um, us trying to get through this gauntlet. Uh, so far, everything has been the same as before. Uh, the only difference between this and the last attempt was uh, when I got sent to Trapper Dungeon, I ended up walking on the blue one, which exploded the big guy. And that's always fun to do when you could explode a guy in the Trapper room, you know? Alright. Here is the Chaturga rune. What I need to do is I need to kill this guy and then enchant my weapon with it. Because I don't think the green Zelototh rune is going to help me fight those really, really annoying things. Uh, so let me go spell list. Let me assign the red. And let me cast it to the Ramdow. And maybe what I can do is take care of this one first. If I can. Okay, that went a lot easier. I don't know why I couldn't hit this guy before. Come on, where you at? That was weird. There he is. Much easier. Why couldn't I do that before though? I don't get it. But I could not hit that guy. I, I was trying to aim, I was swinging through it like crazy and just nothing was working. All right, now we need to take this uh, Ramdow back. Yeah, these two guys are still here. Did not kill them. Did not kill these guys either. Let's disable this shield. And watch our HP just plummet to the ground. All right, let's not forget this this time. Yes, I know I can use chakrams here, but like I said, I'm trying to avoid killing things in this run. So that means no chakrams. Go, 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 go. All right, well done. Woo. Good job, Kareem. Nope, 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 nope. I'm not messing with you, that is definitely for sure. I am not touching that guy with the 10-foot pole. And I believe this is the end of the chapter, right? Oh, no, it's not. And I didn't save. Oh, no, this is not good. I forgot about these guys. I got to go through one more gauntlet. Oh, uh, it's so not good right now. I hate to use recovery sandy, but if I don't recover my sandy, I'm going to take HP damage. Come on, come on. I hate it when you do this to me. Well, that worked really well. 
The only problem is I know this ends with a big guy coming and I don't really have confidence in myself to uh, fight the big guy properly. So I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check my chakras. And I'm gonna re-enchant my Ram Dao. Because apparently the enchantment just ran out on it. It's really creepy how the red guys just attack everything that moves. Not only that, but they get a lot stronger when they don't have heads. And then they'll also regenerate their heads. So it's like what you need to do is kill their arms, not their heads. Because if you go after their, um, their heads, they just get more powerful. It's like a Star Wars thing, you know, strike me down, I'll be more powerful than you can even imagine. Something like that. I am not doing well. Like I said, I don't know what's up with this red run, but this red run seems a lot more intimidating than previous runs. Alright. Actually, I have a chance to try to finish some of these guys off, which is good. Not another one. Oh, All right, good, got it. It's not a good time to hit the ground. Man, I'm fighting everything right now. I'm fighting low sandy levels. I'm fighting these guys. And here comes the big guy. Just great. It's exactly what I did not need right now, especially with my HP pool. Dangerously teetering on um, on dead mode. Oh, great. Try to heal and instead I get zapped. I hate these things. I don't have any enchantment up. He's about to lightning again. Oh, so not good. So not good. Oh, this is so not good right now. Uh, do I have this assigned? Thank you, that actually helped. And then I missed. Good job. Good job, Flightless Bird. Oh, why is this so difficult? Did I get it? I think I got it. I think I got it. Woo! Oh, thank you, Lord. Like I said, I don't remember this game being so difficult. I really, really don't. We did get the effigy. Yes, we did. An effigy resembling a warped angel shaped from dark green emerald ho hovers effortless above the pedestal. Should Kareem claim this artifact? Kareem, we will be together forever. Chandra? What happened to you? Things change, my dear Karim. But even though my body is ravaged, I await you. Who did this to you? You were gone so long. I... I gave myself to a nobleman with a jealous mistress. 
she had me dragged from my bed, and in cruel revenge, lensed with knives. As the last blades were drawn across my body, and my blood pooled upon the floor, she cursed that I would only be with another in death. So much for thinking only of me. I should never have left. I have seen my folly, and have already paid dearly. I see so much more now. In death, I know the true value of the artifact which I asked you to find. And it is not for us to possess. If we are to be together again, you must make a sacrifice. Only when that is complete will we be together. Sacrifice? Why should I do anything for you? You lied to me. Betrayed me. You really don't look so good anymore. You must forget the past. Despite who you are now, you will also become something more. Just as I am. But the sacrifice must be made. We must remain here and guard the artifact. Dark things will come to claim it, and you must be strong to keep it from them. Without your sacrifice, the world will fall into eternal darkness. The things I do for love. <laughs> All right, three chapters down. Time to go. And these are the easy chapters. <laughs> Although you could argue that maybe they get easier the more spells you get. Like when you have the shield spell, fighting those big guys is much easier than when you don't have. Really, game. I wish we had a sequel coming. I really do. Fortunately, it's not to be. Alright, let's go ahead and use the enchantment because we know we need it. Uh, we gotta cross over here to the. Uh... Yes, yes, I know. Hello? Weird. The spice jar. Go ahead and use the spice jar. What spell is it casting, by the way? Is it casting a summon or something else? I heard tear. My liege, the future is yours. The light in the age of darkness has been extinguished. The pillar of flesh has been constructed. The master of chaos, the keeper of the ancients, is long dead. The planets will be in alignment soon. All is prepared for your arrival. I will begin the final incantation that will bring you into our world within days. The next millennium will truly usher in a new age. Your guardians, now prepare the gate. I got the chapter page and uh, that's what we're going to uh, call it a day. Uh, thank you for everything my friends. I appreciate you all so very much and I hope you look forward to our third and final playthrough of Eternal Darkness Santee Requiem. Uh, after Eternal Darkness of course we have uh, Space Quest 4 coming up followed by the Curator's Cut of uh, House of Ashes. Uh, the third Dark Picture Anthology game. A series I like quite a lot and if you if you like Satin Hill, if you like Eternal Darkness then you might want to check out the uh, the Dark Picture Anthology. So they're really, really fun. But until next time, my friends. Man, this is going to be a tough playthrough. I can see it now. So long and take care. 
Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you would like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more. Also, please do not forget, you matter, you are brilliant, and you are loved. And you should always remember to be true to yourself. Don't let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly feathered flightless bird. Till next time.